Hey girls, so and welcome to project 77 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be building a random cat images project by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here you can see we have this uh, button right here. If you just click on that, so it allow you a random image of a cat. Okay, so if you just click on it one more time, so anytime you click on it, so it'll now give us a random image of a cat, like a random cat. So this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. First of all, let me just create a folder and give a name of like 077 and then random cat images or random cat. Yeah, I, I'm gonna just go with the random cat images. Inside this folder, we are going to be giving three files like index.html and then style.css and finally app.js for JavaScript. Now, let me just make that a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code. And now, let me just write like script.js and also link it with our CSS. And now, let me just remove this title and change that to like random cat images. Okay, so now we're totally good to go. So let's just uh, hide this metadata from there. Right click on it and open it with live server. And that's there. So the for HTML, the first thing I would do is I'm gonna just create a section with the class of header content. Inside this header content, we are going to be building our button with the class of button. And now let's just get random, random cat. Kitty cat. So now if you save that, now it's gonna happen. So now the next thing that you have to do that we need some place to render our cat images. So for that we are going to be using our container. Now let me just go to my CSS and now let's just style that a bit. And you can also see all of the style right away because we have to use a JavaScript for that. But anyways, first of all, let me just write a style so that we don't have to write it again and again. RGB and now let's just write 17, 17 and 17 in here, kind of a blackish kind of color. And then just get our header content and which will be this uh, container right here and we are going to be just using like text line of center because we want to center that button and now let's just style our button which is this button right here so let me just get my background and it will be now set to transparent border will be set to none and background color will be now set to rgb okay and here we are going to be using like 216 and also 74 74 and that's that now let's just write our color it will be totally white and padding will be like 10 pixel top and bottom and 20 pixel left and right cursor will be totally a cursor will be totally pointer yeah and also we are not provide this class but we are going to be selecting that anyways because you're going to be using this class in javascript so uh let's just write our display of flex and justify content will be center align items will be center height will be 100 percent okay and also or random cats okay so width will be just a 40 percent and finally let's get our image and then we are going to be using max width of like 700 pixel and height will be like 30 rem for now i will just write 30 rem so if you just save that and nothing's gonna happen because we don't have any images and no classes whatsoever all right so we are done with html and also with css so now let's jump right to javascript and provide our interactivity all right so the first thing i'll do is i'm gonna just get my section so which will be document.query select come on query select come on query selector of this container container all right so now the next thing that you have to do is to get our button which will be now document.query selector of or btn okay so now let's just log there like section and also button so if you save that and open our console so we have container and we have this button so everything is working now let me just remove these um console log from there and now let's just attach our event listener so i'm going to write button dot add event add event listener and once we click on that button so what do we have to do we have to just write like get random cats so before getting into more details the first thing i want to show you the dogs of this API which we are going to be using and if you want to learn more about this you can also use that so let me just write like a docs dot um what do we have uh, the cat api.com so if you just go to this link so it will now brings us all right so if you want to learn more about this API you can also just come to like docs dot the cat api.com and it will bring you to this page right here and you can learn more about that but the thing I came from is not there let me just get and where is it 
all right so this is the thing i came from so now let me just copy this link from here and you can learn more about that if you want to in your spare time because i'm not going to read through all of these documentation in this video because that's going to be suck now we already get our url so now let's just write your url and it will be now equals to um api the cat api.com v1 like version one and we have images and search so now we get our url so the next thing that you have to do is that we are going to be creating a function kind of a component function so let's just write like random and photo it will be now equals to json and it will be now equals to this uh so now if you just sell that and now let's just get our photo and photo will be equals to json and you want to get the first one okay so this json and you want to get the first result dot url okay so now the next thing that you have to do is that we have to create our section now let's just add our class list of cats and also let's just create our image so let image and we are going to be using like document dot create image not cr yeah create element oh come on create <laughs> element and also let's just write our image in here and image.src will be equals to photo photo and also let's just write our image dot class list dot add and now let's just add our random cats which will be this class right here random cats of width will be just like 40 percent if you want to increase it decrease it that's on you and image alt will be equals to um photo and then we are going to be using section dot append child and now let's just append or image okay so this is kind of a helper function right here so now let's just create our async function so we are going to be using like async async and now let's just create our function and give a name of like get random cats okay so this is the function which we call right here inside this button so the next thing that you have to do is that first thing is that we want to get our section and you want to get the inner html and set that to nothing okay so now you want to write our try and catch statement so we have a try and then catch so if something good's gonna happen something good happen it is going to go in here so cons response and it will be now equals to await and then let's just get our uh url which is this url right here you already know that why am i even showing you that all right so now the next thing which you have to do is to get or json from that url so we are going to be using await and then response dot json okay so that's that now if we just log that to the console let me just show you that like json and it will be set to like uh json okay and finally what the hell am i doing it should be inside there and now let's just put your comma and finally let's just return our random cats photos and provide or json in here and we are now calling this function a component function kind of a helper function in here right here so now if you just save that so if you just um open our developer tools right here and if i just click on this get random image so it will first of all give me the image and if you just click on this um json so if you expand that so here you can learn more about that like we have a breed array right here we have the height we have the id we have the url so if you just copy the same url and paste it i don't know like right here certain so like gives that same image which it gives us right here we have a width right here we have this um, prototype which we're not going to be touching but anyways this is a json data if you want to like get something else about this data so you can also get there anyway so that's that now let's just write our catch statement right here so inside the catch statement i have to use this e and then we want to just log to the console like uh i don't know console.log of this is uh this is an error okay and also let's just print or e so e so once we save this file and you know what i'm gonna mess uh instead of search i'm gonna write like present maybe and then if you just save that and open or developer tools and if i click on that it will say like uh json couldn't find the image and here you can also see your message right here this is an error right here and type error cannot read the property of undefined reading a url so we have something missing inside this url and we already know what we are missing we are missing search so if you save that and if you click on it one more time certain so log gives us the image look at this one i mean like isn't that gorgeous it is gorgeous and also let's just open that so here you can see 
we have these categories and we have this ID and some name as well. So you can also get a name, sunglasses, and also the ID and so on and so forth. Okay, so I think we are totally done with our project. So I think that was about today's video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.